My name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-R. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 197. 197 happens to be the very last problem that we'll deal with with the notion of time and distance. So let's get going, shall we? Time and distance, as we have talked about many times in all of these problems, time and distance is a very simple notion. Time and distance and speed, very simple notion, very simple relationship. Something that we do every day of our life, something that we live every day of our life. It's not, it's not a formula that you have to memorize. Don't, don't turn it into a physics formula. It's very simple. For example, for example, if somebody were to tell you, for example, if I were to tell you that I'm going 40 kilometers per hour, if I tell you that I'm going 40 kilometers per hour, and I told you that I traveled for five hours. I drove for five hours at 40 kilometers per hour. How far did I travel? How far did I go? Well, it's very simple. I went 20, 200 kilometers. The question is, how do we find the 200 kilometers? It's right here. If I'm going 40 kilometers per hour for five hours, I must have gone 200 kilometers. As you can see, the hours drop out, and 40 times five is 200. But what I'm trying to make you understand is that it doesn't have to be so academic. It's very simple. It's very simple. You don't, you don't have to write everything out. You can do it in your head. If I'm going 30 kilometers per hour and I travel for two hours, at two hours, at 30 kilometers per hour, I'll travel, I, will, I will travel 60 kilometers. Very simple. This is it. This is the distance, time distance, time distance formula. We call it time distance speed. So here is our distance. We can represent with letter D. We're going to represent it, represent it with letter D. Here is our speed, we're going to represent that with letter S, and our time with letter T. Voila. What does the problem say? Let's take a look at it. It says A takes 6 hours longer than B does to walk 45 miles. That's the first bit of information, and if you don't like the miles, you can convert that into kilometers. It's not going to change anything. We are further told that if A were to double his speed, if A doubles his pace, if A were to double his speed, he takes 90, 90, minute, 90 minutes less than, if A doubles his pace, he takes 90 minutes less than does B to walk the same 45 mile journey. How fast are they walking? How fast do they walk? What, what are their respective speeds? Keep in mind that we are told that if A were to double his pace, he would take 90 minutes less. 90 minutes. Everything else is in hours. So we have to keep that in mind, convert this into our list later on. So let's begin, let's begin the process. First thing first, first we have to verify, uh, first we have to, uh, first we have to, uh, not verify, well, what am I looking for? First we have to uh, specify our variables. We have to uh, specify our variables. It says A takes six hours longer than does B. So let's give a variable for the time that B does. Let's call, here's our solution. Let letter B represent the let B be the let B be the number of hours B takes. So capital B, capital B is the person's name. We're using let, small letter B to represent the number of hours that B takes. If B is the number of hours that Mr. B takes, then his speed, this implies that his speed, which you can represent with S for the speed, subscript B for Mr. B, his speed must be, well we know he's going 45 kilometers, he's going 45 kilometers and he's taking B hours. As you can see I just changed it to kilometers, didn't I? It really doesn't matter. In the US we are dealing with miles, so if I go back and forth, don't worry about it, okay? So that's his speed, that's the speed of B. That's the speed of B. He goes 45 kilometers in B hours. What about the speed of A? Let's work on the speed of A on the top. We, we are told that A takes six hours longer. So A takes six hours longer. Let's find out his speed. Oh, by the way, I erased this thing. This problem that we're dealing with is very similar to two problems that we did earlier. Problem number 186 and problem number 194. If you have not watched those two problems first, watch them first if, 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 if it helps you. But this problem that we're doing, that we are in the process of doing, is very similar to these two problems, 186 and 194. So 
So how do we represent the speed of A? Well, the speed of A is very simple. The speed of A is going to be the same distance that he's traveling, 45 kilometers, except we are told, in the problem we are told that he takes six hours longer. So if B takes B hours, if Mr. B takes B hours, then A must take B plus six hours. Voila. So far so good, right? Makes sense. But we are told that if he doubles the speed, but we are told that but but if A doubles his speed, if he doubles his speed, that is that is at his original speed is this. This is his original speed. This is how fast he's going. This is his speed at 45 over b plus 6 is his original speed. But if he doubles his speed, how do we represent the doubling part? It's very simple. Take this amount and double it, which is same as 90 over b plus 6. So I'm not going to write that as 45 times 2. Let's simply write that as 90 over 2. If he doubles his speed, what happens? We are told that if he doubles his speed, he takes, he will take, he will take, how many hours? He will take 90 minutes less. 90 minutes is hour and a half. He takes 90 minutes less than does, than does B. If A doubles the space, let's read one more time. It says if A, if, if, if A doubles his pace, in my notes it says he. I'm going to change the pronoun to A so that there is no confusion there. If A, if A doubles his pace, he takes 90 minutes less than does B to walk the same distance. 90 minutes less. 90 minutes less is same as hour and a half. One and a half hours, which of course is same as three over two hours. So it takes three, and a, three over three halves hours less. So one more time. But if he doubles his pace, he, if A doubles his speed, that is at 90 over B plus six. 90 over B plus six kilometers per hour. A takes. A takes. What about the this amount of time? that B took minus 3 over 2 hours, 1. One more time I'm going to read it. Okay, one more time in a different color. But if A, if A doubles his pace, so this, this part is separate. If A doubles his speed, which, which means instead of going at 45 over B plus 6, uh, 45 over B plus 6 kilometers per hour, if he were to go instead of 45, 45 times 2 is 90, 90 over B plus 6 kilometers per hour, if he were to go at this speed, he takes whatever the number of hours this B is taking, minus hour and a half. At B minus 3 over 2 hours. That's it, we're done. All we have to do is set up our equation now. The rest, the rest of the stuff is downhill, because we know how far he's going, that is given to us. We know that he's going 45 kilometers. 45 kilometers must equal, this is his distance, must equal his speed, which is this right here, 90 over B plus 6 kilometers per hour, right here, kilometers per hour, times the time, which is B minus 3 over 2 hours. Let's put a demarcation on this one as well. You see? Hours are going to drop out and we're going to be left with kilometers. And this amount, 90 over B plus 6 times B minus 3 over 2, better equal 45. All we have to do here is solve for B. This is the only variable here. This B is the only variable here, you see? That's the only variable. Once we have the speed of B, once we have the speed of B, we can figure out this. Once we have the, sorry, B here represents the number of hours that Mr. B takes. Once we know how long he takes to make the journey, once we know the number of hours Mr. B takes, we can figure out Mr. B's speed. And once we know how long Mr. B takes, we can figure out how long Mr. A takes. Because we were told that A takes six hours longer. So once we know how long B takes, we can figure out how long A would take to make the same journey. And once we know how many hours A takes, 
we can figure out Mr. A's speed. And that's all. Let's continue, shall we? So, so we're going to work on this equation now on the top to solve for B. Okay, let's do it on the top. Just give me one second. So now I'm not going to write down the units. The units are there. This is kilometers and this is kilometers. I'm not going to write down the unit. I'm just going to write down the equation. So 45 has to equal 90 over 90 over B plus 6 times B minus 3 over 2. Let's multiply everything by B plus 6. Let's multiply everything by b plus 6, so we end up with b plus 6 times 45 has to equal 90 times, let's make this the common denominator, so we end up with 2b minus 3 over 2. Oh, for a second I thought it was a plus sign, so I was about to do more complicated work, but that's it, we're done. Oh, this is very simple actually. This is actually very simple, very, very simple. Notice what happens. Notice what happens. This is actually simpler than I thought. 90 divided by 2 is 45. And we have a 45 here. So that just goes away. That just goes away. So it's just, that's it. We are done. B plus C. B plus 6. B plus 6 must equal. Must equal. 2B minus 3. Bring the B to that side. So we end up with 2B minus B, which is B. And bring 3 to this side. It becomes us 9. That's it, we are done, which means B takes 9 hours. B takes 9 hours. We need the room. So that tells us that B, B, Mr. B, takes 9 hours to go 45 kilometers. Well, that's very straightforward. If it takes 9 hours to go 45 kilometers, that implies that his speed. Mr. B's speed must be 45 kilometers, 45 kilometers over 9 hours, 45 divided by 9, he must have been going 5 kilometers per hour. So that part is done. Let's work on A's speed. We need the room for A's speed. If B takes 9 hours, if B takes 9 hours, then we're going to continue here. That, that if B takes 9 hours, then A, Mr. A, must take must take 9 plus 6 hours. 9 plus 6 hours with 4, 45 kilometers. 9 plus 6 hours is 15 hours. He takes 15 hours to go 45 kilometers. That implies that he must have been going, Mr. A must have been going at 3 kilometers per hour. Voila. That's it, we are done. That's the end of the story. As far as the problem is concerned, we are done. But as always, we will take a few moments to make sure that our answer is correct. We are going to, we are going to verify our answer. Okay? Verification is going to start from the top. But just give me one more second for my break. Just do the verification on the top. Okay? As far as the problem is concerned, we are done. I need to raise this thing, obviously. That's what it is. The beauty of it is you can always rewind it, unlike like sitting in the classroom when it's, where it's just gone. So, we are claiming, we are claiming that Mr. A is going 3 kilometers an hour. We are claiming that Mr. B is going 5 kilometers an hour. But the problem tells us that if Mr. A were to double his pace, he would take, how much? How long? If A doubles his pace, he takes 90, 90 minutes less. Now that's the part that has to agree with our answer. If our answer is correct, then everything, all the pieces of puzzle should fit together. So let's find out what happens when A doubles the space. If A doubles the space, if A doubles his space, that is sort of going three kilometers an hour, that is, instead of going three kilometers per hour, he goes, that is at six kilometers per hour, how long will it take him to go 45 kilometers, 45 kilometers at 6 kilometers per hour 
Barometers are going to drop out and 45 over 6 hours. 45 over 6 divide top and bottom by 3. We end up with 15 over 2. 15 over 2 is 7.5 hours. 7.5 hours. How long was it taking him originally? Originally it was taking him. Originally it was taking him 15 hours. Is that right? Did I do something wrong? Originally it was taking him how long? Just give me one second here, I'm lost for one minute. If A doubles his pace, he takes 90 minutes less than B does. Okay, all right. If A takes, if A doubles his pace, we are told that he takes 90 minutes less than B does. So it's not how long A takes to do the original journey, it is how long B takes. B takes 5 hours. There you go. B takes, or rather B takes, I'm, I'm confused, this is not 5 hours. B takes 9 hours. I'm, I'm, at the very end, I lost my concentration. See, this is what happens when you lose your concentration. One more time, the problem tells us that if A doubles his pace, he must take 90 minutes less than B does. B is right here. B takes 9 hours. If A doubles his pace, if A doubles his pace, he can finish the journey in 7.5 hours. 7.5 hours is exactly 90 minutes less. 7.5 hours is hour and a half less than the amount of time B takes, hour and a half less than the amount of amount of time B takes, which is of course 90 minutes less, which means which means that our claim that A was going at 3 kilometers per hour and B was going at 5 kilometers per hour must be correct. Otherwise we would not have been able to show that everything fits here. Everything does fit. The fact that when A doubles his pace, he is in fact able to finish his journey in 90 minutes less than what B took. B took 9 hours because he was going at 5 kilometers per hour, B took 9 hours, this guy is able to finish the journey in 7.5 hours when he doubles his pace. Bye now.